And today, robots are essential to making lots of products. But what about getting that item to you from the factory? If you've ever ordered a product online, you've probably crossed virtual paths with these. They're not security bots on patrol. They're called Kiva. And they're changing the way warehouses work. Traditional warehouses are like assembly lines. They work in a serial process. One thing happens, then the next, then the next. This is called a parallel process. Many actions happen simultaneously. Here's the efficiency payoff. In a robot factory, a human being does not have to go out onto the floor searching for products. They stand right here. The products come to them on top of the robots. When an order comes in, the centralized server dispatches multiple robots to retrieve the products, all at the same time. Now, the people packing the order don't have to run around the warehouse, and the order ships much faster. So there's no waiting and no bottlenecks. This is basically the production line of the future. Instead of having all the infrastructure on the factory floor, all the conveyors, all the people shoving stuff down the line, you actually have all these robots just going at it all at once. These robots are carrying shelves full of inventory, and they're carrying them within a couple inches of each other at a reasonable high speed. And they have to do it hour after hour, day after day, without veering off course even a little bit. An army of mobile robots carries anything from CDs to TVs, adapting in real time to changing demand, making complex inventory easy to find and orders fast and cheap to fill. These robots are all controlled from a centralized server. Yes, they are. Although they have their own abilities, this is where all the high-level planning comes from. Exactly. It's called distributed intelligence. Each robot solves its own low-level tasks, sensing its speed and direction, thinking about negotiating obstacles, then acting, loading and delivering products. Meanwhile, the centralized server manages higher-level planning, like where inventory should be and when. It monitors all the robots and knows everything they do. If for some reason there's an obstacle on the floor, one robot will tell us, by the way, to the central system, there's an obstacle over here. Back, it's all same. robots now have access to that information. The next robot that's going to plan a path in that area will know how to plan around it. Not only do these robots pick up the racks, they also have to figure out where to put them back down. They try to put them back down in places that are going to optimize productivity. The researchers tell me that as we get closer and closer to Valentine's Day, they notice that all that chalky, nasty candy that only gets sold on Valentine's Day starts to get moved up slower and slower to the front of the factory. Once Valentine's Day is over, all that candy gets put back in the back of the factory because it's just not being sold as much. And these robots never have to sleep, sort of. When their batteries run low, they come in for a recharge and some much needed rest. And another one joins the team, keeping the warehouse humming at full capacity 